In relation to the Croatian meeting of the European People's Party, of which uh, Fine Gael is, is a member, um, can you indicate what are the arrangements made by the leaders of the European, People Par European People's Party in respect of appointments, given that the European People's Party, like the other party groups in the European Parliament, are fairly um, extensively funded by uh, the European institutions, and that national appointments to uh, the international desks of uh, the party groups, like the EPP, uh, it would be very strange for those appointments not to be known about and to be agreed to at the highest levels in national parties. So could you agree, Taoiseach, to just enlighten us uh, as to how the appointment of uh, Dara Murphy, while he was a TD, came about? Did, you, did uh, the EPP advise uh, Fine Gael in terms perhaps of the party secretariat and so on that this appointment was being made? And how come nobody raised any query as to how somebody could have two complete jobs, one here in the Doyle and one in the European People's Party? This wasn't an honorary job like a vice president or president of a party group. Thank you, Deputy. This was a full-time active job. Can you explain that? Secondly, Tisha, could you just briefly say, please, please. do you offset, do you use offsetting carbon credit contributions in respect of your uh, you. travel on the government jet. Thank you, Deputy. Uh, Deputy Kenny, please. Did. Uh, in relation to uh, former Deputy Murphy, uh, I think I said yesterday what I was going to say about an inquiry, and uh, I hope that inquiry can happen. It should happen. Uh, I do think the impression has been created that he was totally absent from the Dáil for two years. Uh, that, of course, uh, isn't true. In fact, he was present for more votes uh, in this calendar year than Deputy Martin was. Uh, and the same number as Deputy Martin was uh, since the middle of July. And these are just the facts. And, um, they're the facts. I'm sorry, Deputy. Um, and I do think, um, rather, than being, rather than all the name-calling, rather than all the name-calling, the Deputy shouldn't be so sensitive. Uh, if he's willing to be critical uh, of former uh, members of my parliamentary party, he should at least be willing to account for existing members of his parliamentary party who are now under investigation. Um, and I think it's reasonable to ask him uh, whether they'll be ratified as candidates for Fianna Fáil in the forthcoming election, uh, and whether he'll rule out um, considering them as, uh, being, as being appointed as ministers uh, should Fianna Fáil participate in the, right in the next government. I think the people of Ireland would like to know uh, if they vote for Fianna Fáil, uh, will they see some of the uh, TDs under investigation rewarded for their conduct by being made ministers under Fianna Fáil? And I think it's reasonable uh, for the public to ask that question uh, and to want to know it. Um, just in terms of the uh, issue around offsetting, at the moment um, uh, it, it, there is no offsetting, uh, but the Climate Action Plan uh, commits governments to consider uh, offsetting um, emissions from uh, the use of flights, but we're also very aware that many people see offsetting as greenwashing uh, rather than a good thing to do, but it's something that's going to be considered. Thank you. Appreciate it.